Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what? I'm here with Kirk Quaifos and we are super excited <laughs> because this is a dream come true for both of us to be collaborating in Japan. We're starting off with the Honda corporate head office visit to the showroom here and we're going to continue on to do all kinds of different things today a day before the Japan Mobility Show where we get to see even more things. This is kind of preview day and I'm doing this. this. What, what do you think? Oh, I'm just, I'm so happy. I feel like all my childhood dreams are coming true. David's like giving me the personalized tour through Japan. So this is the bis biggest first stop, I get the big first stop for us. So well, I just want to get into the vehicles that we have on the outside. And there's a lot of cool stuff on the inside as well. And we're doing this live stream style. So we're not going to edit this video. If we make a mistake, I apologize in advance. But this way you'll get the, the whole thing straight to your, to your channel or straight to your view and uh, we're looking forward to showing everything. So follow our camera, follow us, I should say, yeah. <laughs> making lots of mistakes yeah. already. Oh, we haven't slept we, too much. Do you want to start with any of the yeah, vehicles outside? Yeah, let's go take a look. Because I don't know if they have car. this one on the inside. Yeah, that's true, okay. So let's do that. By the way, we're in Aoyama area, which yeah. is a cool place, kind of upscale area, out just in, within Tokyo. And this, this street is full of um, some really cool car dealerships, starting with Lexus that we'll have go later. And we got, what do we have, what do we this have here? This is the N1, right? Yeah, this is N1. Cute N1. It's kind of like circular uh, headlights. Where, where is she at? Okay. <laughs> and this is technically a K car. So it is about a K car. 2 million yen, David, what does yeah. that run in US uh, dollars? So that's about, what is it? That's about $118,000 in Canadian funds. But so, so 15,000? About 15,000 US 15, dollars. 15,000? 15, yep. Yeah, so it's not cheap, but this is, um, a fully loaded model, I think. Notice let's the see if we can make, wagon over there Let's too. see if um, Kurt can fit properly. So you go to the driver's side. Yeah, Kurt. I'm going to head to the driver's yeah. side. All right. Yeah, And he's also filming for his channel as well. So we'll have two different viewpoints on this whole thing. Hard touch here, glossy black, plastic. I like I a little glossy black on the steering wheel. But honestly, I fit in here pretty well. The bolstering is kind of nice in yeah. here. You know these K cars are boxy. Look right? at look, this look how much headroom I have. <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 it's impressive. What's, look at this fake wood. Yeah, yeah this is good. It, I but love looks, that. Looks, looks real almost, right? It, it's, they did a really fake. good job with it. Pretty big screen. Yeah. And uh, this is obviously just. I mean, this is like an eight inch screen. It, it is. It's yeah. different than the ones we have in North America. Looks a but, little bit more tacked on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, for sure. But the quality looks good. Like um, climate control is pretty simple. Hard plastic here, here, though. But you know, this is an affordable my entry level. My car. dad has a Yaris, and oh, I feel okay. like this is fairly similar. Maybe a little bit smaller than the Yaris, but yeah, it's very. But you'll be rooming in the back. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take check a look out at the back. back. We've got lots of cars to show you. So, and we got a cute dog here. We just have to show you the little cute dog. He's very cute. Anyway, we're getting distracted. Oh yeah, the dog. <laughs> oh, the Chiba. Okay. Oh, okay, you know, so look, the look seats are back or more simple. Look at the door. It opens all the way. Open the door. <laughs> yeah, okay. 90 degrees. It's almost... You know, Honda likes doing that even with their vehicles in North America. Yeah, that's, oh, the back seat is a little smaller. Oh, Matt Punk. Yeah. Look at this. I was expecting worse leg room. Oh, that's pretty good. You know, this was maybe set up for me, not quite this seat, but it could still move back a little <laughs> this, bit. This is about the same as leg room as the Toyota Tacoma. In the back. Oh, no, that might be better. It might be better than the Tacoma leg room. <laughs> Got so, a uh, little um, cup holder thing. Oh, is that an ashtray? That's probably just. Oh, look at the small Easter eggs. Check that out. Easter egg. <laughs> this is just a cover for a little tray yes. in the middle here. I don't know if you guys can see that. The little tray. We got over handles here. on. And you yeah. know, even the the headliner is like uh, a decent not material. To take things apart here, but I think it goes this way. Loving that. Okay, a little miniature look at tray. These tiny wheel cover so we here. have steelies but like there's this little chrome piece on the outside and a hub cap there in the middle uh yeah yeah uh, truck space is 14 inch too. wheels 14 inch wheels decent cargo space yeah it's actually pretty good let's see if oh we, look uh, at the hidden storage honda's always good at you know having very good packages for yeah. maximizing space <laughs> oh and the seats fold flat look at that look at that look at all the low, for, the low for 14, floor 13 14 thousand dollars and that's pretty good fuel economy david if you had uh, to take a stab probably like 40, 40 something 40 yeah 45 or something guess. probably the n1 badge here it's cool like a Does, like a honda's interpretation or honda's version of a mini right kind of that look and feel very similar but look yeah. at this color is cool too this yeah. kind of very it's like an olive, olive or green. eucalyptus yeah something like that but the wiper blades is really big 
weird. It is a huge. Well, it's a big rear win window. Yeah. So do you know why? Why I'm, side story here? Do you know why all the uh, many new cars have now put, positioned the wiper on the bottom and not on the top anymore? Tell me. Because it just wipes a wider angle. If it's like this, ah. If it's like this, it misses here and here, blind spots. Okay. So they all placed it on the bottom. It's that also makes cheaper sense. than trying to stick it in there. That makes sense. So, so moving on from the Q N1 K car. This one is not a K car, this is bigger. Yeah, this, this is, is the, the Honda, Honda Freed. Freed. So uh, this so is uh, like their version of a smaller, compact, multi-purpose mover, people MPV. mover, yep. MPV. So, so it's like a true minivan. True minivan for Japan and Asia in, in general. So, so this one's a sportier model because we have blacked out handles, right? Yeah, this one is called a black style. Okay. About uh, $27,000 Canadian. So what is that? 24,000 20, US, something, something like that. Like okay. that. So not, not cheap actually, here. but not super expensive. Again, Honda so, going with yeah. some you know fake wood here, and this yeah, one's texturized. This is actually it's pretty nice. Actually, these kind of woods are way better than some of the stuff we saw like uh, in other models. I don't know why for the Toyota Crown they didn't put some of these wood. Well, yeah, pretty much any new car. I would love to have this over glossy yeah, black exactly. or something. Yeah. Cute shifter. And yeah. even this is, looks like a nine inch screen or something like that. Yeah, this must be the sort of the system name that they gathers. Use. Yeah, gathers, the, uh, yeah, yeah. But this one, see, look, look at the legroom. I'm not tall, obviously, but super, super. Oh yeah, the headroom. Huge. The headroom in here is outrageous. Huge, uh, huge the, amount of space. The instrument cluster is pretty far away, but yeah. it is really high. So notice nothing's be underneath the steering wheel. You're not looking through the yeah. steering wheel, so it acts as more like a head-up display true. there. But uh, I'm, I'm not super excited about the free, to be honest. Yeah, we can keep moving. <laughs> but we will uh, definitely open the back. There you which go. Which is powered also. Guys, yeah, and check out that third row. There's like no cargo right space now. behind that third row back there. But uh, very, this would be a nice cab vehicle. But does anyone use these for cabs here? Uh, not the Honda. Not really. No, Hondas are not big on commercial applications, so okay. not too many corporate uh, fleet type program with them. But you know the third seat is pretty roomy though. Yeah, I'll sit back there. Yeah, go go back there. Yeah, this is crazy <laughs> how roomy it is in the back. Can you fit? I can fit. It's not it's ideal, not but the seats are, are soft. It's, it's probably about the same as headroom, of course. Some, some uh, three row SUVs that we have is about the same. Oh yeah, probably. I would put this in. Yeah, right. The same categories. The average, like a Highlander, for yeah. example. Yeah, exactly. So okay, but let's I'm gonna check get the out last, of here. Let's check the last. <laughs> okay, let me help you. Get I am. Oh, you got out. Okay. I'm very small. A little, a little big for the back of there. Good morning, oh, puppy. I can't open the back. You can't oh, open the, the battery. Oh, but it not, is a hybrid. Yeah, but it, it's the battery is not connected, it said. That's okay. why some of these things don't work. Gotcha. Okay, okay, so even, a, even a more cool. This is cool. The step wagon here? Yeah, step wagon. The air version. They call it the air version. So now Beautiful we're hitting. Uh, Look at that design. Twenty-six thousand dollars Canadian. So again, twenty. Few or so, so it's US. not it's not that much more money than the Freed. Is yeah, right? but this is maybe this is a cheaper model. Okay, so level. this is three million. This is uh, almost four million. Yeah. So okay. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. So this is. Uh, yeah. No. This is no. Sorry. This is more expensive. Honda this is what I'm saying. So it's a uh, thirty, thirty-six, thirty-seven thousand. Look so how much. Thirty-two thousand. So it's about twenty, US. about thirty-three percent more money. But look how much. It's so much bigger. Yeah. This is big. This is Holy really big. Wow! Look at that. It, like this there, there are no minivans big. in the U.S. that have this sort of headroom. Okay, going there, Kirk. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Again, the screen goes up, and look at the cloth dash here. It has a little step wagon tag. Super nice paneling as well. Yeah. Now that looks like it's pulled out of like yeah, a, Honda, a passport or something. Models, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But look at the back, it's like a limousine service here. Oh yeah, the amount of leg room back here is incredible. We even have a tray. Oh yeah, you're right. And, and little pockets. Love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, cute. <laughs> we like oh, little kids. Yeah, yeah. And well, I think control up top, that's kind of neat. Yeah, just Keep it simple, control. right? Just fan control. And, and, and these seats, I think, fold down, the other, either forward or backward to make it like a bed. Um, I think this one folds backward. We're not going to do that right now, but yeah, leg room is not, you know, still not that impressive back there. But these seats but slice this, so but much we're, further. We're so far back. Yeah, though. exactly. So if we move this forward a little bit, there down. you go. Look, oh, look at that. That's pretty good. We're going to back. Tons of leg room. You know, yeah. unlike you know, this is much narrower than like an Odyssey. Yeah. It's going to go into the back. Kirk likes going to back seats. He, he but you can go ahead and close that now. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, no, you can move the seat back. Let me too. see if I can still sit in the front. Oh yeah, actually it's like pretty good. Yeah. And can, I would actually, yeah. it, it'd be, I can actually slide between your seats now. You've got a 12 volt back here that is spring loaded, couple of cup window. holders. Look at these huge windows. You know, the minivans yeah. in North America yeah, now, they've got these window. back windows have gotten smaller. Yeah, that's they've, true. they've taken away the ability to, to open and close them for vents. So I'm gonna let you out now. All right, I'm, it's time for me to get out. But we need to go and check inside yeah. now. People want to see <laughs> what's going on inside. We got. So this, this is, is just the. Outside. This is chapter one. Chapter two is inside. Yeah. But keep in mind, this is the corporate Tokyo head office for Honda. So this is not just a showroom. Uh, this is where some of the management would reside in terms of international marketing work and stuff. And it's been around for a long time. So the showroom is just a you know the only portion that's open to public. And um, apparently it's the 75th anniversary, right? Yes. I didn't know that. 75 years. Yeah. So we're going to go inside. We won't speak too loud in there, but this is the corporate showroom in Aoyama, Tokyo, Japan. We got some cool things Look going the, just on. Just the, the beautiful living wall here. Yeah. Like these are all real plants. Yeah, super high, all real plants. high attention to detail. We have a and coffee shop over there, some stores. Coffee shop. I yeah. guess we need to check the Civic first, eh? You want you want to go to the Type R? Yeah, sure. You know, I just drove the Type R recently. Yeah, I drove one last week yeah. as well. And uh, I like it better than the Integra. <laughs> you like it better than the Integra? I do, yeah. I like the I Integra. Well, I can do, spin around. I like yeah. the Integra for the, the better ride quality. Yeah. Uh, and it's a little bit quieter uh, uh, once you get up to speed. But I found yeah. the steering feel to be a little bit different. I found on the Civic uh, Type R, the steering was a little bit heavier and okay. felt a little bit sportier to me. It could be a just difference between could, yeah. the two models, but right. I think this, I felt like a Civic felt more like a sports car, Integra more like luxury sports Premi car. Premium, premium sport. sports car. Yeah. So, uh, and I also like the design on the Civic type R better. I don't know about you. I 100%. Right? The, the Type S to me is too uh, aftermarket looking. Yeah. It looks like someone it slapped looks, a body kit strange. on it. But the, I do agree, the looks here, even though people may or may not like the rear wing, Come on, I think closer. it completes the look. Okay. Here, um, let me do a quick uh, gap check. <laughs> I'm not going to do gap checks. I'm not bringing my tool because I don't want to cause and, problem here. But yeah, this one is uh, yeah. So it's about 3.5 millimeter. I can just look at it and tell you the gap. But look at this. It's yeah. almost perfect. But if you touch your hand over here, Kurt, just touch it. You see, this a drop is a little bit off. Yeah, like a half a millimeter off. Yeah. So, but you know uh, what? I think it, it's still better built still than the Type S. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Because yeah. of the Type S and the Integras in North America, it's hard for them to line up the bumper, as I've noticed. Yeah. And this is about perfect. Yeah, I know. This is this is well made. Yeah. And color matches everything too. And I just I like the styling better for sure. Yeah, I almost it's gorgeous. I bought one like three four years ago, but I couldn't get a, I couldn't get hold of one. Like it was impossible to get one. Right. Oh, yeah. That's true. I think it's. But yeah, th here's a, here's a quick look at a right-hand drive Type R. Yeah. The seats are going to be exactly the same. I always find this interesting. Just look how soft and easy it is to, to push that down. And this mm. has been driven hard. You can see people. There's a. Yeah, this one actually worn out a little. Yeah, bit. that seat uh, has some it's wear a, on it's it. It's a demo, so demo or some kind of a. A demo, or demo. they could have been used as a. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have? Well, I'm going to take a look, quick look at the, the motorcycles real okay. quick because sure. there, we don't get, uh, I think we get 650R in America. So I'm not into motorcycles, so maybe you can explain for our audience. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not as well versed as I used to be because okay, I don't ride okay. anymore. But yeah, you know but, something about the motorcycle. You know, we used to have a CB1100 yeah. in, in the United States and probably in Canada as well. It looks which was, cool though. Look at this. Which these was designs. an air cooled. Um, four cylinder, but this thing's a different beast. 1300 cc's, it's a liquid cooled or at least, at least oil cooled um, with that radiator up front. Look, so at, look at these, um, it's not bronze, it's actually like a gold. It's right? a gold, yeah, the gold accents here. We got yeah, Brembo really, Briggs. Really this beautiful. thing is one, of the this is one of the more gorgeous motorcycles beautiful, I've seen beautiful in a motorcycle. long time. And they're not Absolutely cheap, right? Stunning. These things are not cheap, oh, right? This thing probably costs twenty thousand dollars, maybe twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. Crazy. Yeah. It's, and this uh, is like I believe uh, this is forbidden fruit here. We got the Olin suspension here in the back. Can you sit? I guess you can sit here, right? This is second Absolutely seat. Absolutely stunning. Right. This, and is, this is yeah. This is your adventure seat. touring. Yeah. Look. I don't know the motor on this, but it could be eleven hundred cc's. 
X Adventure. We might have something similar in the United States mm. Mm. as uh, well, this has the dual clutch too, six speed dual clutch. Yeah. You know, they put that six speed dual clutch in their side by sides in North America. Oh, really? Yeah, their oh, talons. Cool. Yeah. I think we should uh, test drive a side by size. <laughs> <laughs> we should do yeah, that. I'm all for it. Okay, all right, should we, what do you want to look? Well, we, we already took a look at a step wagon oh, outside. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's so this one, yeah. This M, we looked at M bar, okay, bezel. Let's bezel, look at bezel. Yeah. Which, which is uh, it used to be Z ZRV Z ZRV here, yeah. but it's yeah. HRV for North in America. In North America, yeah. But but there's a slight difference though because the this is smaller than our uh, HRV. Yeah, and this part is different, right? It's, well, I, it's I think it's very pretty. I, I like this one bit better. Yeah. Like honestly, I don't know, but I don't like the HRVs front design. I don't I, mind the back. It's it comes out to they come out. I, I, I completely agree. The back end looks fine on the HRV. The front end. Doesn't look doesn't right look right. It comes out. I too, think this too looks much. better. So I don't know why they made that gorgeous a paint color on this too. Yeah, candy red, I guess. Look, look at, at the, the black body, wheel arches. These look like eighteen inch wheels. <laughs> yeah, eighteen inch wheels here. I gotta remember not to talk when you're talking. We'll probably, oh, that's okay. Yeah, because both are filming at the same time. Right. But anyway, um, but the gaps looks good too here, Kirk. Like uh, that's that's like three millimeter, three millimeter, three point two millimeter. 3 .2 yeah, and here. how the door is opening, if it closes, very, very pretty. Oh, it like. looks really good. Um, yeah, so this this handle on the the C pillar here is very much like the the new Prius oh, yeah, or the, yeah, the yeah, old CR, uh, old yeah. HR. No, what's CHR? CHR. So it's just continued yeah. from Toyota. I, I, honestly, I don't really see the point of putting on the pillar, but other than the styling uh, reasons, yeah. yeah. Now look at this big hump in the middle. That might not be the most comfortable seat. Okay, uh, so let me open the, the other car. side as well <laughs> but look unlike the hrv we actually have vents back here as well as usbas which our north american model does not have um so yeah <laughs> big surprise did you want to look in the back yeah, sure, well sure. let's i want to get a look at the, the rear here we kind of have a light bar that goes across yeah. see the front and back both looks better than the hrv 100 yeah. percent. yeah and this is a hybrid too right yes the e e h e v yep Oh, I guess we're okay to open it. And yeah. I'm hoping that uh, we get a hybrid of the HRV in North yeah. America because uh, it, it sorely needs it. Oh, it's actually pretty big in the back. It is. There's a lot of space I back here. I haven't looked at one for a while. And I, I, I like this new design for the part, uh, the covers. Oh, okay, I don't want to pull the whole tray out. <laughs> like, you know, these Honda season new design, this is kind of European design. Yeah. Where it just, this is so much better than I the like stupid this. thing you pull over. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen one attached like this before. Yeah, there's, they're kind of following a bit of a European style, this mesh. But the European ones um, lift up, you know, like with a string, right? Like the BMW yeah. ones. Right. This one is attached to this, so it's a, it's a smart idea. Because when you close it, you can't, you can't. Um, it's covered up. You can't see anything. Yeah, honestly, like I don't know why we didn't. I know they separated the two products, but they didn't need to. No, I know I this is yeah, smaller, I think they didn't need to. Either. The design of this model, like we yeah. said, is so much better than yeah, the HRV true. we have. Did you uh, like driving? Like, I look, I have good headroom in here. It's six feet one. Did you do you like driving the HRV? I think it it drives well. It drives well. I right? think the materials are very nice. Yeah, it um, feels a little bit a, sportier than a typical Japanese small SUV. Oh, it's more sporty than yeah. like a uh, the Corolla Cross. Yeah, definitely yeah. sportier than the Corolla Cross. Yeah. Corolla Cross yeah, and even getting out, it's not too bad. Yes, I have the the little hump here, but yeah, it's not it's not bad to get out of here. It's using a Michelin Primacy 4, so a little bit more upscale tire, mm -hmm. actually. A, they often use a, on a more... David, did you want to get in the driver's seat and uh, sure, talk sure. about yeah, your impressions here? Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, I should fit into all the Japanese cars, but... It's got a nice grip. Typical Honda Dash here. And the quality of material. A little plasticky, unfortunately. Little... Well, that's not hard plastic, though, at least. Yeah, soft touch. But, but this is hard. Yeah, that is done. This is all soft, hard. Yeah. They do a lot, and I do my little punch test to see if I can make something loose, but looks looks all pretty tight. Everything yeah. looks tight, nothing is loose. Now I noticed manual seat there, so even though this has a lot of features like vents in the back and USBs back there, but they don't have a power driver yeah. seat. On this model anyway, yeah, I'm sure they model. have a power seat option, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, that door slams very nicely. Yeah. Just this looks... Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Just the, but see, this oh, is the reason. Fake. This is the reason why manufacturers have to stop using glossy black. Look how much scratch the there is. Look at it. Yeah. 
And this car is a brand new car. This is just right. from people touching or leaning against it. Mm -hmm. it they should not be using yeah. that. <laughs> Okay. Now the Should cutest cars. I think these are even cuter than the little the little one out in I one outside. I think so too. Which one do you like? Actually, I like this. I one like here. this one more. I like yeah, the round headlights. Me too. Uh, but the Nbox Custom is more of a sporty, um, more and sporty. it's got you know like that that but, chrome dark chrome around the yeah. bottom of the grill. Where but, down here, there's no there's none of that. It's more clean looking. But you know the funny thing is the two headlight vertical headlights stacked up on top of each yeah. other, and then the round headlight is almost like a Land Cruiser. <laughs> You know, the two, yeah, you know, it's a little two bit. Land Cruiser model. Maybe right? they got their inspiration from the uh, the end boxes here. Maybe. So let, okay. let's, let's get on the inside. Okay, yeah, you go on the driver's Two million side. yen. Again, two million yen is what? About 15,000 US dollars? 15,000 yen? A US? Yeah, yeah, roughly. Pretty big screen here, probably like an yep. eight or nine inch screen. So this time oh, you get. Look at this visit. This is a recycled, recycled plastic. They use, uh, I, I can't remember what material they use, if I can look it up in here. We're, I'm seeing more and more recycled plastic in new car designs, even luxury car designs, like the yeah. Volvo EX30. Yeah, that's true. It we, has it, and I'm seeing it, and like, uh, we might see it more this this I week at so. the motor show. So this is hard plastic, but again, I think this is all recycled it, yeah, plastic it looks bottle like or something they use. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty plain, but it looks... Is, Look at the, the vents are almost oh, yeah, like the yeah, headlights yeah. too. Right. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Yeah, super cute. I cannot believe this headroom. <laughs> but they, you know, <laughs> someone can sit on top of you, Kirk, and we'll still have a space. Look at this visor. <laughs> it's so. Look at the visor. Like yeah, point out the visor. It's like a dinner tray. <laughs> oh, what is that here? Is that it's the, it's a, a mirror of some sort. To see the back. Yeah. People? Weird. But yeah, I'm just blown away by the visibility. I'm and and, to, and people didn't notice this, but this is a window within window. There's a window here, right. window here. And the, instead of having uh, one thick A-pillar, which is what the new designs are typically, they split the A-pillar yeah. into two. So you still have the rigidity you need for crash protection, but you get better, better, better visibility. Uh, visibility. This is a great idea. It's a great idea. I didn't even notice that. It kind of looks like a wraparound window almost. Yeah, and and the glass That's comes so far out in front. It feels yeah, like, and it's very vertical. Yeah, very vertical. Almost like a like a FJ Cruiser or something yeah. with the verticality. But the the visibility here is great. And I, I really like, like this car. Yeah, actually. the spaciousness is impressive. But you they know, will they we will never get this. No. Unfortunately, I'll have to move back to Japan. No, to buy you this. know, U.S. safety regulations would never allow something like this. Back, I guess we uh, checked the back space already, but oh, this one is working. Let me try again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one is yeah, same as the one outside. So it's, it's a four seater. Yeah, this is a four seater. Look at this night. I didn't even notice the the big oh, armrest. Yeah, you're right. And the tray again. The tray is like. I really we, like the tray. The tray is great. But oh, it's a bit flimsy, but. But kids can do this. Your kids in the back can do this. Dad, we want to go to the movie theater. Yeah. Take us ice cream. cream. Exactly. Let <laughs> me synchronize there. <laughs> okay. Well, take a look at one more end wagon over there, or in, and then we'll show you the little corporate store there for Honda. Uh, oh, you want to show the back? Yeah. Now, this is where, you know, it's maybe not designed for North yeah. American market. I mean, not. you might have to raise it a little but, bit more. You but. know, look at this, like, look at the amount of space, like the, the uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can like true. tailgate out of this. Yeah, you can have tailgate it's like party. an awning. This yeah, door is so true. massive. It is like awning. Oh, it's totally flat. It goes totally flat. Look at that. Wow. Almost totally flat. There's a hump there, but, but you could, you could, you could lie in there perhaps. Yeah, for camping, no, right? The, yeah, actually, you know what? I think they did design this to be a canopy. Yeah, it's right? enormous. Like, I don't need to put those posts and stuff. This is my canopy. I can be camping right here. Right. I'm barbecuing. <laughs> okay, we're a little bit loud by the screen, so let's not move too close to the screen. <laughs> and uh, we'll do a quick check the, of this the end, one. The inbox uh, and then, uh, custom we'll here. We'll show you the last part. So again, for those of you who are still watching, thank you for that. We're doing this live stream style, so if we're making some mistakes, apologize. But you get uh, you get the straight scoop from me and Kirk just walking around so at the cute. Honda corporate showroom here in Tokyo. This is the oh, this is a sporty version. Yeah, this is sportier. It's so got, got uh, stitching and everything. Yep, it's instead of cloth like we had on the yeah. uh, 
the end box over there we have more of a, a leather like material here. It feels very premium. Yeah, really premium. Almost like a carbon fiber. Oh, this, this steering was leather wrapped as well, which yeah. the other one was more of a plastic style. Come in, come in. You can show me the inside there. That looks pretty good. Got the extra custom little badge in the back. The glossy two tone roof as well. And notice the tail lights are different. We have yeah, different these tail white lights. tail lights. Black tail. I like the yeah. see through look. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna take them to the store there. I gotta shut sure. this door. <laughs> okay, sh I'll shut the door too. I like this color too. This must this looks like the same color we on have the this Civic, color. right? Yeah, the uh, Sonic Blue. Uh, it looks like a Sonic Blue. I forget exactly what it's Maybe. called, but anyway, when do we let's have go it? look at the showroom. Not showroom, sorry, little store. You can have a little coffee shop here. You got the uh, mobile mobile generators, the little power packs yeah. there, so you can charge your devices while yeah. you're drinking coffee. They're amazing coffee shop, and look at their, uh, you know, the story of Miles go. Honda Cafe. Okay, we'll go over here, and then we got some end box stuff, Super Cub things here. You can have a Honda curry 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 rice on the curry rice <laughs> if you want. Now we're in a bit of a candy store, I think. Yes. We'll Those do a stickers quick... are super cute. So, uh, Kirk, I'm gonna do a quick walk with you yeah, and then we'll through. let the audience go soon. Yeah. Uh, it's getting a little long. So we got some mugs, some um, caps. Oh, we got we gotta do this a little bit later. Oh no, you gotta check out things. There's yeah. a, the Type R, and, uh, there's all sorts of cool things that yeah. we can get out of here. But what? But they're keychains, okay, it looks key like. Yeah, looks like a keychain. So, so we call it gacha gacha in Japanese. What, what do you guys call it again in Canada? Vending machine. You just go vending machine? Yeah, okay. that's what I'm I thought it was name, something named for these little toy ones. But anyway, uh, here's the Type R collection toys. Uh, I don't know what. Kirk, what's your favorite toy in here? Oh, uh, well, these little bikes. <laughs> I'm not like, See, they I, got, they I, got I, bells on them. I dare you them. to try to sit on them. Oh, the bells. The bells I dare you, I dare kill. kill <laughs> Because Kirk, Kirk to sit on. <laughs> you want me to sit on it? Yeah, yeah. Hold the camera for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, it's, here comes this way. Yeah. All right. Now, can you? Another. Can you? Can you push? Can you actually go forward? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, no, I don't want to try. You might. Break but look, it. it even comes with a kickstand. It's yeah. spring loaded. It's cute. Like, you need to buy one f for your daughter. I think. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big one, bigger one over here. And uh, what else do you have here? Oh, we want to show the uh, the motorcycle seat for the cafe. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do that. And so we have one more motorcycle here. And then let's the cafe that. here. Um, <laughs> is it fixed? It's actually, actually, you can pull over. Oh my gosh, can I sit on it? <laughs> oh, it's comfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah, try it, Kirk. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, it is comfortable. Yeah, it's actually really comfortable. It's got the foot it looks pegs a little as well. Odd, but it's it is a, comfortable. You know, the foot pegs are a little out there, but how amazing. It's, got, it's suspension. It's got a little spring <laughs> yeah, so shock cool. there. This okay. is something we get in America here, the CRF as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess we it's get very that. pretty bike. So but. for those of you who are still watching, we're going to carry on <laughs> to do other things. We're going to go to other dealers and showrooms. Of course, tomorrow is the big show. It's called Japan Mobility Show right. Now, not Tokyo Motor Show. There's going to be tons of new introduction. All the senior executive CEOs will be there, we'll be there. And so tomorrow is a busy day. We're going to film everything. Keep an eye on mm -hmm. both of our channels. We'll have a different perspective on all the stuff. And then we're gonna go back on Thursday again, do some more filming. So this whole week and probably many weeks to come, we'll have lots of Japan Mobility Show stuff for you guys. And uh, Kirk and I just can't thank you enough to be, to be here, that you'll let us come basically because by watching you give us that chance to come to Japan and also we're going to have some really good food tonight and next couple of days, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we yeah. started that last night. We had good oh, food last gosh. night. So, but right now we're going to take a coffee break. So yeah. we're going to say goodbye to both of our channels and you know, we're gonna have such Hope amazing time. Keep an eye on our channels, Kirk and I, and more to come. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.